Julie podcast. We just we just harmonized. I don't think that's what harmonized. Sounded like some magic to me. I don't know what you guys heard, but that sounded. I want you to get excited about your life. Welcome back to the Jenna Julian podcast. Wow, unsubscribe. We are joined. This is actually on Mother's Day. We are recording. We are joined by the one and only. Debbie Machine. Happy Mother's Day Happy to all the mothers, mothers out there. You, You're you, wonderful. You, 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 me, me. <laughs> <laughs> praise, praise. Good, good. You, you. Speaking of Mother's Day, this episode of the Jenner's Living Podcast is brought to you by Lyft. Right now, guys, why don't you just start driving for Get Lyft. your mother a Lyft. It's a great job. If your mother needs to go somewhere, call her a Lyft. They're the best ride sharing service. True. Right now, you go to Lyft.com. That's L-Y-F-T dot com slash Jenna Julian. And you get a $500 new driver bonus. They are looking for new drivers right now. So you and your mom, go start driving for Lyft. And your mother. Also brought to you by Tracker. Never lose your items again. Tracker is a tiny coin-sized device that you can put on your wallet, phone, keys, or on your other wallet, or on your other phone, or on your other keys, so you don't lose them ever again. Go to tracker.com. That's T-R-A-C-K-R.com. And use promo code Jenna Julian. And you get a free track of Bravo with every order. Hell you. Yeah. Hell you. Yeah. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. I, left the, I don't know if you've noticed this or not yet, but I like to leave my minion blanket in here so that I can use it whenever we're doing this. People are like, I love how Jenna just doesn't give a fuck anymore. And I'm like, Is it because I'm wearing a minion blanket? <laughs> I'd like to know when it was that you gave a fuck. Yeah, right? that's, so. that's a good question. I literally never have. <laughs> I, w- I wasn't there. But so. I'm flattered that you think I did. Yeah, there's no point of reference. All we've seen is the non giving fucks. And for me, it's been kind of a long time. Julie and I have it right. We Jenna got it not. right. Jenna doesn't even, she's not and even I a Dr. You. Phil fan, dude. What a fake Dr. I Phil fan. I love you very much, but you do. Do we love you, but you don't have the song? It's. You're welcome and goodbye. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> it's da 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 da. Did everybody say? Oh, she just let her tell herself whatever left. she wants. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine, babe. I'm sure. It's... You guys are fucking haters. You're tater haters. Anyways, uh, what are we doing today? Well, before we got in here, we had quite the wonderful Mother's Day. We had all the mothers here. We had uh, and your mimosas on deck. Yeah, we had my mom and my grandma, and we had mimosas on deck. We had salad on deck, but not the bad kind of salad. It was like a delicious Caesar mm, salad that we made. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Julian made delicious. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, and we hung out. It's been fun. So we're just uh, we're hanging out, and we figured, what a better day to have the Debbie Machine back on the podcast. You haven't been on since um, the episode in Toronto. We were talking about ghost stories. That was the last one. Oh, we oh yeah. ghost stories. Yeah, that, that was a long time ago. That was last long time October, around. yeah. Yeah, so you are uh, well overdue for another appearance here. Mm. And one of you suggested, I figured I should probably find it on Twitter to give you credit, right? One of you suggested this. I tweeted out what we should do. And someone said, (laughs) uh, Jenna Trivia, Debbie versus Julian. Why are you making fart noises into the night? Oh, it's Gina. Gina Pagel. Girl. Well, I'm oh, Gina. Say it again. Gina, Gina said, Jenna Hell trivia, yeah, girl. Debbie versus Julian. So basically, we doing it. The idea is Jenna uh, compiled trivia questions about her and her laugh, and it's going to be me versus Debbie on figuring out who knows more. They're not really that trivia y. Well, we'll see. I guess we'll see. I think you'll leave that up to us, right? Da, 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 da. I expect to kick your ass myself. Ooh. It is so on. It is so on. Are you guys I mean, ready? No, I've known her a lot longer than you have. Well, it's. I think. You know How what? long have you known me, Mom? How long have you known her? Uh, Give or take <clears throat> twenty years. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know her the first ten. <laughs> um, it's interesting though. You definitely have the. You have the time. The you, longevity. You, yeah, you got the longevity on me. But I. But I. I see her a lot more often now. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, you know, I feel like I feel like I uh, I'll get you on some of these. I'll get you good. Well, we'll see. I think we will see. By the way, I like your pins. Thank you. I don't know where you got them, but I really like them. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 
See, this makes me a uh, waffle head. Oh, <laughs> you're a waffle head. Waffle head. Is that the name of the fan base for that pin? I don't know, but I liked how I put it on the oh, puma head. Oh, I see. I see. So there was a puma jacket, but instead of the puma head, it's now a waffle. <laughs> what? You don't like this conversation? <laughs> I was kind of excited about it. I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> the it waffle looks head, like, she says. Well, I think Colin will be delighted to hear that. It has nothing to do with you, Colin. Yo, call. Yo, call. All right. So let's get into this. Okay. Let's waste no more time. Let's get right into this. All right. So I have 35 questions. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm sick of this. I mean, we could just not. We can, are we done? <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. All, right. All right. Question number one. What did I want to be? When I grew up, circa third grade ish. Debbie first, and then I'll answer. Do, 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 do. Wait, 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 wait! I don't think that's fair. See, remember we were asking like, should it be whoever answers first, or like, she can't answer first because she's known me longer. You have to answer first. Okay, fine. Makeup artist. Okay, mom, what's your answer? Circa third grade. What did I want to be? It's a very concrete answer. A circus clown. Wow, this, this is going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> um, the answer is These are both safe questions. I wrote there. it. I wrote it in a little book that oh. I I wanted to. It's handwritten by me. It says I wanted to be either a professional soccer player or a zookeeper. Ooh, no, you are right about that. Yeah. Wait, how how do you expect us to know if you wrote in your private book? We don't have access. to it. <laughs> It's not private. Um, no, it was it's published. published? In a, yeah, it published. Number yeah. one bestseller, yeah. New York Times. <laughs> yes. Congrats. Actually, hey, thanks. Bro. Hey. I didn't, no, go, actually, I didn't know you had a book tour. When yeah. was it? Oh, it was when I was in third grade. <laughs> oh, sick. Yeah, it was <clears throat> actually, makeup artist was, is actually a pretty good guess. Yeah, but that was older. <clears throat> I was like 13. Oh, but then you were told it wasn't real. Yeah, well, my you dad still would have said it wasn't a real job. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't exist. Yeah, come to Hollywood and do it that. is. Yeah. Uh, oh my god! But you still want to be a zookeeper, so. Well, yeah, that's well, true. She wants to be a zookeeper, except she, she wants the zoo to become her house. She doesn't yeah. just want to. Go I don't. I don't want to go zoo. to the zoo. I want to no, live I, in the zoo. No, I meant you know you, have to, you. I would like to be captive. If I come home from my <laughs> next trip and there's maybe I another live animal, in the zoo. I, I don't think anyone would really be surprised. She suddenly gets at a friend or maybe a frog. <laughs> Just put me it's... in the, the enclosure with them. That'd be great. <laughs> Just feed food through the bars. Is that a zookeeper? That means you live at the zoo, right? Well, I wasn't thinking of it like that. You, you technically live there? are correct. I, I thought it's you a... just meant you were going to have a zoo at your house. Yeah, it's, no, de- well, it's definitely a sort of either zoo. Either or. If I can't have them at my house, I'd like to just live in their enclosure. You, you just the want your life one, to be a be zoo? Ooh, the giraffes have a nice enclosure, too. I'd like to live in Well, it. frankly, I don't know what would stop you, so... Honestly, the law. <coughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> All right. Question: Are those dogs barking? Is that what animals? Children. Are? Okay. Question number She's two. She's already got a zoo. What is my favorite game? I don't know. Um, knockout. Like in basketball, when you try to knock the ball mm. out of the hoop? Uh, yeah, horse. Horse. When you throw the basketball up, and then if you make it in, you get an H. You guys know I'm ass at basketball, right? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite game is Elder Scrolls oh. online. What's Elder Scrolls? Julian, what? how did you blow this question? Oh, sorry. I thought it was knockout. <laughs> I thought you played knockout with your friends. Mom, his name was John, right? He lived two houses down from us. He was married to Shaheen. She was Iranian. He had one hand. He taught me how to play basketball. Did he play knockout? No, he taught me how to play basketball. He said, hold it with this hand and punch it with your other hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> he That's only not one how hand. you play basketball. That's how he taught That's me. That's how he plays basketball. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm ass at basketball, partly because John taught me how to play basketball. Because my brother would never, never let me play with him. Your brother's probably pretty good at basketball. <laughs> he's, he's actually tall. not. He's actually he's not. He's six five and just not good at basketball. No. Oh, well. He's got the right spirit, but Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that was bad. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> oh. Well he does. Okay. He's close to the hey, at least he's got that going, right? I can't Wait, believe, so, so I, not knockout? Is Elder, Scrolls, Elder Scrolls. Oh, Elder Scrolls online. Okay, Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls. What's okay. wrong with y'all? What was the last time you saw me play knockout? I thought you were playing it the other day. Was that not knockout? Or were you just doing your makeup? I don't know. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Oh, my God. I can't keep up anymore. All right. So far. I thought you meant when you were in the third grade. Yeah, me too. I was still, I thought when you mentioned third grade in the first, I thought that was the whole game. Like mm-hmm. all these questions were nope. pertaining to third. Oh. No one's gotten a question right yet. All right. What well, question number three. What is my personal favorite hair color that I've had? Oof. Which one was my favorite? Brown. Uh, gray. It's a good guess. It was purple. The purple was my favorite. Purple? I think brown was a good guess. Mm. But... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was born with brown hair. <laughs> oh, I thought that's why it was your favorite. Oh. Yeah, it was you know it was cl- close to the heart. Something tells me that Debbie's trying to throw this. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think what that? What makes you think that? <laughs> brown, she says. <laughs> As my hair is like a slew of rainbow colors, <laughs> she guesses like one of the only human colors that I was born with. I like that guess, girl. I, I like where her head's at. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's trying to throw it. All right. One more tr- one more give me one more try. You have 35 questions. <laughs> <laughs> Still only one more chance though. And everyone else is they've logged off by now. You could have said any color and you would have been- Julian said gray and that was closer than brown. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Question. <laughs> Three. Jesus, are you really four. Four? <laughs> Oh my god. What is Kermit's middle name? Oh, I know this one. Mm, what is it? She can go first on this one. Um Julian. What? That's I've gone cheating. first on all of them. I don't want to be not a gentleman. Um <laughs> Hamilton. Washington. Mom, you're right. Oh. The answer is Washington. Oh, Kermit Washington. Lincoln. Wait, you, she said Washington. Yeah. His name is Kermit Washington Lincoln. Is Lincoln his last name? Yeah. <laughs> well, how did he get that last name? It's just his name. <laughs> so his last name isn't Maury? Yeah, it's Lincoln. It would be Lincoln. <laughs> and it's Charles Franklin. No, no, no. That's number five. Oh. Franklin is the elementary school I went to when I was younger. Mom, what's Marble's middle name? Washington. I went to Franklin Elementary School no, as Mom, a child. I, I already, it's, it's, it's Franklin. Oh, it's Franklin. Good job. I tried not to blow that one. Wow, you guys are tied somehow. <laughs> tied in mediocrity. <laughs> Just sitting there together. <clears throat> this is fun. I love this. This is fun. <laughs> okay. Question number six. What is my favorite food? Past or present is accepted. Eggs. <laughs> I, I can't even outdo that. Like I was trying to think of. Oh, no, that's <laughs> whether you like it or not. That's the answer. That is <laughs> that is your favorite food. <laughs> oh. Geez. Julian, what's your answer? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, to be, just to be clear, it's not eggs. <laughs> I've been a vegan for like maybe three years now. Okay, but before veganism, you literally only ate eggs. Only. Only. Mm-hmm. Wait, can you elaborate on why you think my favorite food, uh, we're assuming past, was eggs? They're round. No, no, no. Why were they my favorite food? <laughs> Not why are eggs eggs? <laughs> um, well, because you, you could do so many things with them. That's why they were my favorite food. Yes, they're versatile. You, could, you appreciate yes, they're, I, thought, I thought you were going to be were... like, you used to always eat them. You loved eggs. I always made you egg. No, you need to give me some concrete evidence that eggs were ever my favorite food. Maybe they weren't. Maybe I made a mistake. It is a guessing game. Mom, I feel like you're throwing this on purpose. (laughs) (laughs) Do you really think I would do something like that? Uh, Why would you say eggs? (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, that was the one food that I didn't even care for when I was eating meat and uh, stuff like that. Like, they always grossed you out. 
They're, they're kind of gross. I used to like scrambled eggs when I was a kid, but like they had to be like super dry, like almost not even. I'll tell you a story about your daughter and eggs. Uh, one, I think it was Valentine's Day or her birthday. One, one important day for her. I woke up at like 8 a.m. and I had this idea that I wanted to make her the best scrambled eggs in the world. So Gordon I, Ramsay I eggs. sat down and researched Gordon Ramsay's egg recipe of how he made his scrambled eggs. And it's extensive. Like this is not an easy, you yeah. throw it in the pan and make. No, this is like. It's very meticulous. I sat there. I actually had two goes at it. The first one didn't really work out. The second one, I cleaned the pan and tried again. And they were fluffy and delicious. Because you put like butter they in were, the... It was the way you cook yeah. it. You cook it in a saucepan. You yeah. just constantly start. So I brought it to you for... <laughs> brought it to you for, for bed, like bed and breakfast. And I was like, happy birthday or happy Valentine's Day. And you're like, thanks. Can I get it in the kitchen in a sec? And then you come in the kitchen and you just like take two bites and you're like, I'm I'm full. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're not. Eat the whole thing. I hated them. You hated them. And they were they were like probably the best eggs I ever made. Man. But they, that's how much she likes eggs. They were vom. Okay, well we don't need it. We don't need it. But I really loved you for making them for mm-hmm. me. That was very sweet. It's like one time when me and my brother were kids, we made for Mother's Day, actually. How festive. We made my mom eggs and toast in bed, and we didn't really cook the eggs at all. <laughs> and we brought them to her, and it was so, like, raw that. and nasty. Oh, and, and she, she was, was like, nice mm, thank you. <laughs> okay, now for Mother's Day, Mommy's going to eat breakfast in bed alone. So you guys go, and we're like, oh, okay, Mom's going to enjoy your breakfast oh by herself. And she totally chucked that shit in the Flushed trash. Flushed the toilet. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, you didn't, I didn't, we didn't know, you know, because we were like little kids cooking eggs, you know. Oh. We didn't know that she could get sick from just eating raw eggs. We were like, we tried, we cooked them a little bit, we put them on the pan, it's done. It's basically done. So It was the thought that counted. Yeah. Not the egg, the thought. Not the eggs, right? What came first, the thought or the egg? Okay, so it's not eggs. Apparently it's okay, not did eggs. Okay, did eggs. you take a guess at what my favorite food is? I thought was? I guessed. Past or present? What was oh, your guess? Um... So, but here's the thing. A past favorite food is not your favorite current food. So okay, well, there's guess, multiple answers. Guess right? current. Yeah. Current? I'll accept anything that I deem worthy of current well, or I know, past. I know you used to love your ham and cheese sandwiches. That's true. Uh, currently, um, day of vegan box mac and cheese. Ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding, That's literally ding, all ding, you ding, really want to eat. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> it's not eggs. It's not eggs. Julian, really you in that round. Thank you. So much for my big talk, huh? The round. The round? I, I thought that was a good argument because you that's not wrong. I mean, in theory, it's not wrong. Well, actually, it is wrong. They're oval. <laughs> it's very <laughs> wrong. <laughs> okay. Question number seven. My God, are we not at ten yet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's no one left listening. I, I can yeah. assure you of that. Name one of my childhood pets. Any of them. Any childhood pet. Jake. You are throwing this? Girl, get out! Get out! Get out! You are just throwing the game! You know we never had a what animal was named Jake! You had an aunt named Jake. No! Yes, she okay, did. her name was Anita, first of all. Oh. You're wrong even in that, and she wasn't a pet. That's an aunt. I you Girl. thought you how, thought it was a pet. No. How many guinea pigs hamsters did we have? What, 20? Name one. There was no Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that aunt's name was Jake. Okay, I'm that sorry. doesn't count. Name an animal. Name a man, a small mammal that we had growing up. Jump. Name Jump. <laughs> oh, no, Climb. Okay, yes. Well, I will accept Climb. Climb? I mean, I'm, this is sort of a gray area because this is now your third guess. But yes, climb is the correct answer. Mm. And that was Devin's hamster. Who, gerbil. Who, hamster. Hamster. Gerbil, probably. No, actually, you're right. Gerbil. Yeah. No, no. Actually, I don't remember. But she mm. got pregnant and she had a lot of babies and then she ate them. It, we thought it was a boy. It's true. Mm. And they lived happily ever dead. All right, Julian, what do you got? Uh, Dylan. Yes, I will accept Dylan. Dylan was my ferret. She lived for seven years. Seven, mm-hmm. yeah. She's pretty great. Oh, you guys both sort of did well. We were, we were doing so great. Mom, He's there is no Jake. fucking Jake. There is a Jake. I'm almost positive, okay? <laughs> you are throwing this on purpose. Okay. I don't see anything. Question number eight. 
What sports did I play in high school? Mm. How much time you got? <laughs> Do I love to list all of them? <clears throat> There's only three. Softball. Preseason softball. That's two. <laughs> diving. I mean, I mean, true. Postseason diving. That's four. Bowling. Bowling ball. Tech. Bowling ball physics. Mom, what's your answer? I got nothing. You got it all. I did it, didn't I? You have to answer, though. What sports did I play in high school? Chasing boys. Okay, no. I had a boy got from him. all of high school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what sports did I play in high school, Mom? You have to answer so that... <laughs> Deep sea diving? See, in a way you did, though, because diving... Jump into the water. You don't know where you are. It could be in the sea. It could be in the ocean. Well, technically, you were on the swim team, so... You're not wrong. Hmm. Wait, you're on the swim team? Yeah, divers are on the swim team. <clears throat> is that how it's sort of like... like uh, We're the halftime show. Is that sort of like how um, the... Uh, the sh there's like one track and field event that really isn't track and field, and then the rest of them are like running their ass off, and they're like, I'm on the track and field team. Really, it's like that. You're not yeah. really doing it. We also have swim meets, like a track meet. You but you really just... It's not really an event. It's a meet because we're all there to just track and field. <laughs> we're the and, probably. <laughs> the track and. Neither track nor field. We're the, <laughs> the and. and. Fair enough. What was the question? Okay, so my mom clearly loses because she said deep sea diving. So, Julian, <laughs> congratulations. I, I don't know what to well, say. Well, he, he took them all, so I wasn't going to yeah, say so those you, again. It's impossible for us to... Because I'll answer and then... The answer's gone. Or she'll answer and then I'll answer. Yeah, but she can answer she can still answer and have a different answer. We don't or have the we same a, answer. We need a buzzer oh. system, right? We should have a buzzer system. But I oh. asked you that before and you were like, No, we'll both answer and oh. then who's ever right wins. But she just wanted to just say deep sea diving for whatever reason. Hmm. Hmm. Are you ready for I'm question ready. number nine? I don't know. I'm excited. Question number nine. <laughs> this is this is taxing. How many Rosaries did I used to say a day and mark them off on my calendar to make my rosary turn gold? How many a who, day? Who do you want to answer first? That's up to you guys. How many a day? <clears throat> I don't really remember. Um, and I'm quite concerned for you that you actually did this. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, How many a day? I, I'm going to say 10. Really? 7 or 12. Pick a number. No. It's no, those are both of my answers. Well, my mom's right. It's 10. Damn it. Why did I think day. it was seven or 12? I'd say 10 rosaries a day and but mark you, them You have off. to tell the story of yeah, why you, you thought you were. Well, I already did. I told it in a video a long time ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Our, we had a religious teacher, religion, whatever it was called, teacher, that told us that if we said the rosary enough times, it would turn gold. So I used to just sit there and say 10 rosaries a day. I figured that was a good amount. Did it ever turn gold? No. That's pretty misleading of that. Yeah, it was plastic and I made it myself. So there wasn't really a high probability of it turning. Well, I mean, they're not a physics teacher, okay? They're just, <laughs> they're just trying to encourage you to do something. Well, my favorite part of that story is they said the, that same teacher told the same thing to your brother and he told your father and your father. Oh, my dad caught him saying the rosary and he's like, what are you doing? And Devin's like, I'm saying the rosary. But, you know, our religious teacher said if you said it enough times, our rosary would turn gold. My dad was like, for God's sake, go pray over the car. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's right. like uh that sh that shitty watercolor tweet recently yeah <laughs> question <clears throat> number 10 what is my drink of choice uh i think I've, i know this but I is it a drink or is it a could, whatever's in your cup Mom, what's your answer? Uh, I'm going to say mimosa because that's what's in front of me. Julian's right. The answer is whatever's in my cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm right, too, because that's what's in your cup. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, we're both right. <laughs> okay. Question number 11. What is the name of my master's degree? Like, what is my master's degree in? You have to read it off, like, in the language. In the, in the language that it's in. What language? Fuck, I like don't even know. I don't think that's it. Oh. I don't think that's what's on there. <laughs> I'm going to say... I'm 
Masters of Science, Sports Psychology. Mom, what's your answer? Masters of Counseling. I mean, you're both correct, but you're both wrong. Sports Psychology and Counseling. <clears throat> masters of Sports Psychology and Counseling from the School of Education. <clears throat> so it's not even Masters of Science. So you don't know science? I don't think What's it, this all been it about? Doesn't, it doesn't work science. the same as a bachelor. So you don't get a bachelor's of science or arts. It's like a, it's a master's of sports psychology. Mm. You know what I mean? It's mm. not either or. It's not science or arts. Mm. I think I understand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Congrats on that, by the way. Congrats Thanks. on that, by the way. Jenna is cum laude, summa cum laude, magna cum laude. <laughs> yes. Which one? <clears throat> Uh, I'd be guessing. I, I'm sad. I don't remember. I'm going to say Suma. Magna. Da, na, 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 na. Julian, you're right. Da, na, Magna? Na, na. Mm. It's still impressive. I, I, I wasn't quite Suma because I still had to have um, part-time jobs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> How many piercings do I have? Ooh. Ooh. Let's count them up, shall we? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Definitely one on your belly button. <laughs> 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 um, Two knows. Can you take off your headphones for a sec? No. Please, can you do it? Please, please. I'm trying to win this contest. I'm going nope. to say. I'm going to say six. Say four. I have seven. Right in between our guesses. No, that would be five. I have double holes, <laughs> double double lobes. My tragus. Oh, my tragus. conch. I forgot. And about then the, this high cartilage of that. I forgot about the double lobes. <laughs> Floor's pretty low, Julie. <laughs> eh. It depends where you're sitting. You look at my face like every day. Yeah, I don't count the holes in it. Do you count the holes in my face? How many holes do I have in my face? I bet you can't guess. <laughs> okay, how many tattoos do I have? Two. <laughs> Julian? <laughs> Where's the other one? <laughs> His headphones just came out. Julian, how many tattoos? One. Yeah. You have one. I only have one, Mom, and it's your initials. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the other one happen? Uh, the old oh, man. man. Oh, I gave it to her when she was a baby. She still hasn't seen it. <laughs> your initials and I told you and I got it and called you. I was like, Mom, I'm getting your initials tattooed on me. I know, and it made me feel so proud. Aww. <laughs> that is a sweet tattoo. It is very sweet. Wait, if I had two, what, what would the other one be? Well, what do you mean if? It would be a full-size other- Khajiit on your shin. Hell yeah. Hell. It's, Go on. it's way back here, and it's... <laughs> back it's where? The lower back. Way back on your lower back, but it's way down. You're saying I have a tramp stamp, girl. And, yes. No, no. Okay. Un, no, go, and then it's uh, it, it's a little tiny one. It's a microchip of... Um, I'm microchipped? Yeah. You didn't know? Wait, like a dog? <laughs> well, she's a special kind of human. That's the point. Oh, my God. Okay, anyways. Wait, don't you have a tattoo on, like, your inner arm? That says lift.com slash Jenna Julian. Oh, my God. Because if you look there, you might find it. And right now, Lyft is looking for new drivers. That means you can drive for Lyft. If you go to lift.com slash Jenna Julian, right now you get a $500 driver bonus. Lyft is great, guys. You can earn hundreds of dollars per week. And Express Pay lets you cash out instantly. You don't have to wait days or even weeks to get your money. And Lyft allows you to earn tips within the app. And you keep 100% of the tips. So, right now, take the guesswork out of being a rideshare driver and go to lyft.com slash Jenna Julian. That's L-Y-F-T dot com slash Jenna Julian. Happy drivers mean happy customers. Maybe that's why nine out of ten Lyft rides get a perfect five-star rating. So, be a part of this. It's really awesome. You can pick your schedule. If you're between jobs or you have uh, weird hours, you can hop into rider mode or driver mode and drive a couple people around, make some money. And then go feed yourself with that money. Go to lift.com slash Jenna Julian and you get a $500 new driver bonus. Limited time only. 
So act fast, people. Also, can I give, can I just <clears throat> say that um, I love Lyft and I, there's a lot of female drivers, and I'm really happy because if I'm by myself, I'd love to have females. It is it true. Is, Dabby it likes is to feel really safe. Nice. She feels safer with the female drivers. And they are looking for more female drivers. That's she's just why a little Debbie in a little big world. But I, I agree with you. It is nice that they have female drivers. Yeah, they tend to be kind of, you know, more mellow. More mellow. They have conversations with you, they're people. Right. Uh, it's really nice. And you know what? Here the, last thing, the last thing you want to do in a lift is leave your phone in the lift and then lose it. So put a tracker on your phone, right? Here now, you. Or your wallet. Tracker.com. That's T-R-A-C-K-R.com. Your wallet, your phone, your keys. You don't have to lose these things anymore. It's a tiny coin size device. No, no bigger than a quarter. And it activates via GPS. You attach it to your keys. Any item that you can, you feel like you lose. I put it in my drone bag. I put it in my gear bag. Anytime I travel, just in case I lose it, I go on my phone on the app and I can find it via GPS. Right now, Tracker Pixel even comes with powerful LED lights so you can find your stuff no matter how dark it is, which is incredibly Phew, helpful. You smart. Very smart. And you know what? You can try it out right now and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. Just place a tracker on whatever device you tend to lose and have no more stress about it. You won't lose your stuff anymore. And if you do, you'll find it back right now. Go to tracker.com. That's T R A C K R.com slash nothing. Just (laughs) tracker.com and then enter promo code Jenna Julie and you get a free tracker Bravo with your order. Thank you, sponsors. Thank Thank you, you, sponsors. sponsors. Yeah, Yeah, tracker, 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 tracker. Tracker. Good stuff. All right. Are you ready? Number question number 15. What is my favorite Nintendo 64 game? Mario Kart. I agree with her because that's the only game you won't play with me because it's not on Nintendo 64. You're both wrong. It's Chameleon Twist. No, Uh, you, no. uh, Even if it was a Mario game, it'd be Mario Party. It's Chameleon so. Twist. Um, nope. Yeah, it's Chameleon Twist. <laughs> Literally, no one I've ever met has ever played it except for me and Devin. So. I've heard of Chameleon Twist, but yeah. I've definitely not. Played I didn't it. know you played it. Still, do you still play it? No, I gave my Nintendo sixty four away uh, a long time ago. We should get her Nintendo sixty four. I don't know anything about games. Da, 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 da. I can't believe you ever played that game. Question oh, waste. number Chameleon sixteen. Twist. Every birthday, I would blow my candles out and wish for blank. A fire truck? Like, like a real or like a twice truck? Well, no, she wants the fire truck to drive up. Like a real one? Mm-hmm. I think. Probably. You're probably right. Well, she I mean, seems like she seems she, to be reacting as if you had guessed it exactly. She wouldn't, she wouldn't wish that anymore, but when she was little, she wished that. So how, how many birthdays did this last for, just so I know? <laughs> just having a great time. Just guess one, Julian. Um, what did you wish for uh, as a birthday wish? Um, uh, uh, for your for more pets. Julian's right. Really, Mom? You are terribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Violently wrong. <laughs> Who wishes for a fire truck, girl? Must have been your brother. I don't know. One of them. We are different people. <laughs> <laughs> Not according to Face App. Not according to Face App. You are the same. That's right. You're the same. <laughs> so you're saying you would have wished for a dog for every every birthday? Yes, and I literally said that earlier today. <laughs> and okay, you, heard you can't blame me her for not listening that. to you today. It's Mother's Day. She doesn't have to listen. Yeah, that's true. It's my okay. only day off. Yeah. Question number seventeen: What was my first real job? I'm not sure what you mean by real. But yeah, what is it? Uh, like I had to go somewhere. And- yeah, file taxes for it. Oh, mm. I had to sign paperwork for it. Wow, not like babysitting. You know what I mean? Not like watching uh, someone else's pet. Let's try this thing where we answer on three and we say it out loud. Okay, at the same time. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Tanning salon. salon. Ooh. Wait, you guys think my first job was a tanning salon? No, I said a salon. I didn't say a tanning. Salon. What salon? <clears throat> the place where you had to clean to- fingernails. My mom is correct. That place is called Andrea's. Fuck. That was my first job. I was like 14, I think. And they paid me $6 an hour, which was legendary for mm-hmm. a 14 year old after mm-hmm. school. You anyway. filed taxes when you were 14? Yeah. Wow. Well, I had to like sign paperwork. They can't just pay you under the table. Well, they gave under me a the paycheck. table is the best way to do it, baby. No, that's illegal. No, it's fun. Okay. 
Whatever. You really you you think my first job was at a tanning salon when I was twenty two years old? I couldn't think of old? anything before that. <laughs> I didn't know how old Technically, you were. Technically, you were right if you had just said salon. salon. I should have just shut up about the tanning. Mm. Mm. Da, 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 shut da, up da, about da. the tanning. Question number eighteen. She loves tanning so much, though. I know. I don't anymore. I only do spray. Oh, I'm not out here. I'm like I did the sun one time, and I'm all wrinkly from it. Name a hidden talent that I have. I I know this one. Okay. Know this one. What you got, girl? Well, many people don't know this about you. Okay. Am I going to be embarrassed? I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead. Do I care? Um, <laughs> I know you don't. Uh, you ha- can look good in any hat. Oh, that's true. Okay. I don't know if it's a talent, but that is a true fact. Any hat. I want you to make we a used vid- to, We used to play that when we were little. The like mom would go, hat does this hat look good on Jenna? And then she'd put it on me and she's like, it's cute. Right. We would go to the department <laughs> store, like some big department store. We'd just and try on hats. She would look, I was, okay, here's the ugliest looking hat. I mean, you, no one would look good in this hat. You put it on her head, she looked adorable. And it was just. It's a fun game. It's basically just trying on hats. I know. I want you to. I don't make- think that's a talent though, but I'll accept that answer. Oh, Okay. I think you're, it's pretty interesting because you do look good in hats. Uh, you can touch your thumb to your wrist. That's true. I that's, can't do that. That's definitely a hidden talent. Don't okay. tell me that's not a hidden talent. That, that way is. and the other way. Right, do it like this right now. I can do it this way. Oh, my God. Oh. That way. But then you can do it this No, you way. can't. Yeah, you can't yeah. do it at the top. Oh, my God. I was not ready for that. Da, 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 da. I can also do this and this. So what was the one you were thinking of? That we? Oh, no, I wasn't thinking of anything. I just wanted to know if you guys knew if I had it. I hated that. <laughs> Sorry. Why was that so gross? Oh, graphic. Graphic. Da, 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 stop. Da, da. <laughs> God, stop it now. Stop it right now. <laughs> okay. Question number 19. I desperately wanted to be on a television show when I was growing up. What show was that? Let's answer on three. One, two, three. Jeopardy. What'd you say? Mom, you didn't answer. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Family Feud. No, Mom, you know this answer. I heard the the price is right. Yes. (laughs) This is how I know you're throwing this game. I know you're throwing this game. The answer is the price is right. I was close there. I love Julian. I want him to feel special. She wants me to win. He does feel special. She wants me to succeed. I feel special that I'm sitting next to the machine. That's, yeah. Oh, I mean, don't we all? All right. Question number 20. What is my astrological sign? Fuck... Um, uh, Vir- Virgo. Virgo? What, Virgo. What is what is that? That's the V for Virgo. Oh, Ooh, is that, that also your answer? Yes. I am a Virgo. That is correct. I have a quick, I want to run a quick test. Debbie, will you say Virgo into the mic and I'm going to say Virgo into my mic and you guys tell me which sound quality is better. You go first. Virgo. Virgo. I feel like her mic is better than ours. <laughs> Sorry. Moving on. <laughs> it wouldn't have anything to do with the spectacular quality of my voice. Da, da, 100%. Da, da, da. Okay. Only. Question number 21. Da, 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 da. What is my birthstone? That's We just answered that. Virgo. <laughs> Julian. Oh no, 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 no. It's the it's the, the actual the gem. That I got you one, Julian! didn't I? Didn't I get you one? You did. Did I get her one? I, I don't know. Is it an opal? <laughs> it's a green my one. Birth- <laughs> I, th- I thought that was the same thing. I don't know. When I went and got you that ring, I said, "What is the what is the September the di- the diamond?" And they and were like, they Here, said, "What what is the September diamond?" Yeah, and they gave it to me, and I didn't know the name of it. I just got it. What is the called? It's the green one, right? Mom, do you have an answer? I, I thought it was an opal, but I- is it opal? <laughs> what? Give me your final answers. That's not how this works. So don't ask me. Julian, your final answer is not Virgo. That is not a stone. Turquoise. Okay, that's a legit qu- That's a legit answer. And your answer opal. is opal. It's a sapphire. Sapphire. Oh. It's not green. It's blue. It's oh. on this ring right here. Sapphire. I know. I, that's the one I got you. This I know. Is, that's this why is the I Virgo figured ring. you would know that. Mm. I literally, literally walked in. What's her said, birthday, her birthday diamond? Is September. I want <laughs> that diamond. <laughs> That was very sweet. That's as far as the conversation went. They handed me the ring. I handed them some money, and then that was it. That was really sweet. Julie's really sweet. All right. Are you ready? You win. I would be shocked if either (laughs) of you know this. (laughs) Okay. What was my first 
AOL screen name. Oh, come on, dude. How the fuck am I supposed to? Da, 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 da. I, fun fact, I actually shared it with my brother. We shared a screen name. <laughs> oh, you know, That's you, deceiving. Yeah. Well, actually, it was, we shared an account, so we shared a screen name. Um, I'm going to say, um, Snoop. What's your answer? I don't have an answer. I have no way of guessing. Okay. You're better off. Pass. The answer is Paco 300. Oh my God. I, knew I that. did know that. Yeah. Paco 300. Devin made it. Of Paco course he 300. Did. I don't know why or whatever, but we, I would log on. We, we'd friend each other, you know, like an AOL and you could add friends and we would each have our friends. So like when I would sign on, someone would be like, Hey Devin. And I'm like, Oh, it's Jenna right now. Sorry. And but you like, could totally oh, prank later. your friends easily. I mean, we never did, but we shared an account. In theory. All right. Paco was his friend's nickname. Oh, which friend? I don't remember. Tight. Okay. What? It seemed like she really wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she did it. That's what, what is my favorite Disney movie? Hmm. Little Mermaid. Oh, Little Mermaid. Both Little Mermaid. Don't you switch up now. It's Beauty and the Beast. No, you can't do that. You just watched it on the plane. That's the only reason you answered that. That's I know not it's true. Mermaid. How many times have you heard me sing Be Our Guest and fucking all that shit? You've said, you've sang Be uh, Little, Little Mermaid It's too. a quiet no, 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 we're not doing this. Every day. All right, next question. Like the one before. Next question. Little <laughs> next question. full of little people. Oh, come on, but you sing. Waking um, up to say. Okay, fine. It was Beauty and the Beast. Bonjour. Okay, so fine. Here, here's. Here's, 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 here's what I have to say to that. If, if your favorite movie, like if your favorite Disney movie was Beauty and the Beast, mm. why don't you let me take you to Beauty and the Beast? Because I don't want to. No, 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 no. We've no, no, I, no I want to fight no, about no, no, this no, no, right no. now. No, no. The, the first one is the only one in my mind. I don't want to see the Broadway show. I don't want to see the new movie. I don't want to mm. see. It. No, the Disney one is the one, and that's it. That's it. I don't want to see a live action guest star. He's dead. Okay, the beast killed him. He fell off the cliff. I only want to see cartoon guest on. That's it. There is no guest on. Debbie, will you go see Beauty and the Beast with me? I will. I'd love to. All right, to. fine. I'm taking your mom. Fine. I'll watch the Disney one alone yeah, like three should. times over because it's only like 70 minutes. You should. Okay. Question number 24. Person on the internet I love the most. Oof. Love the most? It's tough. Ryan Jul- Heger. Or- Julian Solomito. Oh, if it's not that, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is it? What are your answers? You need final I, answers. I said Julian I said Ryan Solomito. Higa. Okay, you, you're you both right, technically. No. But the answer was Ryan Higa, because Julian is assumed. Come on. Mm. Oh, it's assumed huh? now. Hey, you uh, know. You're not going to Beauty and the Beast with me, but it's assumed. Mm. Julian... It's okay. I, I meant outside I, of you. That's like... Oh, no. I accept Ryan as your answer. He's my favorite person too. Is outside <laughs> of you also. <laughs> Come on. Actually, no. Um, Greg is my favorite person on the internet, not Ryan. <laughs> Greg is definitely my favorite. Okay. Question number 25. Number 25. Question number Yeah, we know the okay. number. <laughs> I have a scar on my hand right here. I fell off a what and got it. Bicycle. Final answer. I'm going to say bike is bicycle, too. Yeah. Is that when you killed the squirrel? You m- murdered it? Murderer? Murderer. The answer is... <laughs> is that when you killed the squirrel, you murder <laughs> We were in Costa Rica, and I fell off of our white water raft. <gasps> oh, I forgot you. And that. sliced my hand open, and it got, like, straight up gangrene. <laughs> oh, God. Not really, not really. But it was, like, very infected. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> And I didn't, Sorry about that. I didn't really care. So I don't remember ever getting medical treatment. I just remember watching it turn green and then going away. That's so. fun. It was. Anyway, to block out that whole thing. Yeah. I wish for I didn't hear for that. Uh, what you guys were just saying, uh, question number 26. One time I ran over a blank on a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just appreciate that she just like casually called you a murderer? <laughs> she said, no, was this because I am psychic. We don't know that he's dead. 
He just got cut in half. Oh, my. For sure. God. But I'm psychic because I knew the squirrel was going to come up in the next question. So I just. You did. We, we just answered a little earlier. That was you nice. Know. That was nice. We don't know he's dead. 27. He's still alive. He's the first squirrel to ever get cut in half and live forever. Okay. Number 27. Name a song I know all of the words to. Be our guest. Two can play this game. Boy. <laughs> Got you. Mom. Um, happy birthday. Okay, that is a loophole, and you know it. She got you, dude. <laughs> Mom, come on. Uh, Fuck. All right, you know what? Own game right now. You know what? Fine. You want to play that way? Fine. Well played. <laughs> well played. I did. I just got lit up by the tapping machine. <laughs> that was good. Okay, name a pet peeve of mine, like something that I hate. Oof. What's something that I hate? Me. (laughs) On three. One, two, three. Leaving paper towels on the counter. Oh, oh yeah. (laughs) Leaving paper towels on the counter. Yeah. (laughs) I was going to say people that wear high heels in airports, but. Oh, that's um, true. That's that's also true. true. Uh, You're both right. You're both right. What if it was a high-heeled person from an airport came into your house and left paper towels on your <laughs> counter? Smack that person. <laughs> yeah, what happened? It, we're did only it, uh, hearing one yeah, ear. Yeah, I know. Uh, Something happened. Okay. Question number 28. My high school mascot was blank. Oh, that's not fair because I know that one. Well, some of them you can get. Some of them Julian can get. Are you still only hearing one ear? Yeah. Uh, Mom, what's your answer? Um. Well, it's it's called a a baron. (laughs) 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 Okay, Julian, do you have an answer? Uh, high school mascot. Yeah. Fuck. Sorry, one of us is like sitting on the cord. So. Do you have an answer, Ot? What you got, Ot? She guessed Baron? Yeah. Um, Oh, it's right there. Sorry. (laughs) What is this? There we go. Baron. Um, No, it was the Bears, right? Right, Bears? Right, Bears? It was the Barons. Oh, wait, so she was. The Barons didn't Bears? (gasps) Oh. I said the Baron Steen Bears. <laughs> Conspiracy Illuminati confirmed in your face. Checkmate atheists. No, it was the Barons. Whatever that is. What does They're it look like? Like what? rich landowners. That's what so, the Barons So at football games, a rich white guy just no, ran across our, the football the, field? No, like, like, <laughs> with cats <laughs> falling out of his pocket. <laughs> no, the symbol was like a top hat and gloves. Oh. Yeah, it was brutal. Dark. Yeah, it was, it was well, whatever. Mm, okay. Uh, my favorite constellation, uh, like of stars, is what? One, two, three. Relish. Cassiopeia. Mom, okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a condiment, not a cat. Right. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you lose just, that round. This you is lose so it. nice. I am loving this so fucking much. Okay. What's the most I think I've ever deadlifted? Oh, mm. that's a... That's a good I question. Think, I haven't got a clue. I think, if I remember correctly, because I don't 100% remember. <laughs> I'm, I have no clue, so I'm going to say 50 pounds. 175. Yeah, it was right around there. Whoa. Like one, oh, I think it was almost 200. 195? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm not sure if I hit 200 or not. So you start dating me, you just start deadlifting crazy weight, Beep, beep, beep. But it was not 50 pounds. Mm. It was. The, yeah, bar, that was a, that the bar was a, 50 pounds. That was a bad guess. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Okay. It's not your best, but it's okay. Um, it's better than relish, relish. though. It's better than relish. Anything is better. Than also better than Jake, the ant. Wow, you did have an ant. What's the most amount of complete softball games I pitched in college in a six-day time span? We had like four games a day. Four times six, twenty-four minus maybe six. You sat out, so eighteen. Can I have the question again, please? The most amount of Complete softball games that I pitched in a span of six days. Uh, I'm going to say four. 
It was eleven. <gasps> That's an insane. There were we could we never had four games a day. We only ever had two. I thought you had oh just but double still. headers each day. Right. Oh. You can't play four games in a day. So only There's one day you that. didn't pitch twice. Yeah. <laughs> eleven games in six days. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Question number thirty-three. I think NASA is blank. Mm. Hiding things from us. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say um, the space agency that is hiding things from us. <laughs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> Teamwork on that one. They a bunch of bullshit and liars. You guys are lying to us. Sorry. Okay. All right. Question number thirty-four. When I was little, I used to walk down to the bathroom and say, I'll see you in blank. Who are you talking to? Her. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Listen, this one talked to herself, and she was her favorite audience. So True. that's how it was. Well, nothing's went. changed. Right. Well, I got to take this because I've already told this story. I got she knows. So I, I, have to pre- I can't pretend yeah, I don't you can't, know this Yeah, one. you're locked in here. See you in Florida. See you in Florida. And now I go every year for Playlist Live. Day in, day out, breakfast, See lunch, in Florida. And See you in Florida. If you asked my eight-year-old <laughs> self what my bucket list was, it's just going to Florida one time. <laughs> oh, my God. You're living out your dream every year. Exactly. Playlist. <laughs> okay. The last question. Question number 35. What's the most disappointed I've ever been. Mm. And this is a trick question. It's a trick question. They all seem like trick questions. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. They all seem like trick questions. What do you think the most disappointed I've ever been in? It's Jake Relish. Well, yeah, it's Jake Relish. I mean, there's a new answer as of this podcast. Most disappointed Mm. you've ever been. And it's a trick question. Um, Do you want me to just tell you? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So you remember when we went to Florida, like finally for the first time, right? Yeah. And we went and saw that Michael Jackson 3D exhibit show. Mm. We finally got there after all of those years of me walking down the stairs going, I'll see you in Florida because I just wanted to go to Florida one time. We went to the like Universal or whatever and they had this 3D Michael Jackson show. We all had our 3D glasses and do you remember what I'm talking about? I don't. It was like a 3D Michael Jackson video, and he was, like, dancing and stuff. It wasn't a ride. It was just, like, a show. But it was, like, the first time that they had 3D glasses technology mm-hmm. to see things. So it was really special. Yeah. And he's, like, doing his song and his video, and it's, like, this big thing, and everyone's just standing there watching it. And so I take my glasses off to see what it looked like without the glasses on. And as I go like this and pull them off to see, everyone goes, <gasps> and I like see this like sparkly, beautiful like thing dazzle across the screen. <laughs> I put my glasses back on and it was over. <laughs> That is such a oh, funny story. That oh is so my sad. god! And I never know what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> and it kills me to this day. I don't know what it looked. I don't know what it was. I don't know what I missed. But everyone was like, <gasps> it's like the loudest crowd gasp I've oh. ever heard. Oh. I'm like actually crying. <laughs> oh, you missed it. That's actually really oh, sad. That's so sad. <laughs> After all those years of being like, man, I can't wait. It's going to be like the trip of a lifetime. <laughs> the one moment that it culminated to. You took your glasses off. You remember when how bad I wanted to see The Phantom of the Opera oh. in Toronto? Oh. And then we finally went and we were like, we had amazing seats like under like where the chandelier would come to like swing down. You know what yeah. I mean? And um, I'm sitting there. I think I was six when we saw the show mm, or between right. six and eight. And I remember saying to my six year old self, I remember the dress I was wearing. I remember everything. And I was so like, I literally remember sitting in my seat and being like, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. I am at the Phantom of the Opera right now. Mm. <laughs> and the chandelier went, Shh, and I was like. And here I am, girl. I remember it. It's the best. Oh, it's so sweet. The most disappointed I've ever been. That was actually really adorable, both of those stories. Mm. I just want to know what that video was. I want to see it. You'll never know. Okay, who knows? And everyone, anyone who was there, 
Don't tell her exactly what it was. <laughs> No, he like went like this with his glove or like his jacket, like something like jump. It was like the pinnacle of the shoot. Yeah, and everyone, yeah, he probably reached out. Yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Man, it well, was brutal. Okay, so, who well, do you think won? I don't know. We all just get a, a participation award, maybe. <laughs> I took part in the event. I took I part know. in the event. <laughs> That's what Jessica Julian, I think anybody Julian. who listened to this podcast gets some participation. Yeah, you guys, you guys are the you real guys for making them. it this far. <laughs> <laughs> Relish. <laughs> yeah. If you've made it this far, maybe just comment somewhere in the in the comments, but spell Debbie D E B Y, <laughs> and just insist that's how it's, her name. Yeah, is exactly. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with us for another episode. Debbie, Absolutely. thank you for joining us. It was wonderful. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother. Mother's thank Day. You. Even thank though you. you tried to throw the game with the Jake. I just wanted relish. to say um, thank you to all the Dink fam who wished me a happy Mother's Day. I love Aww, you guys so much. You so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Yeah. You guys are. We love you. you. Guys are the best. Thank you so much. You guys have a great week. We'll see you in another one. Later. Bye. Bye.